Hi everyone and welcome to this week's EBC video. We're in downtown Minneapolis at the corner of 9th Street and 2nd Avenue with a matchmaking service nearby thinking about John 15 verses 9 through 17 this week. All right. Now, we've got this matchmaking service because I want to focus first at the end of this passage here where Jesus says, you did not choose me, I chose you. And I just love that verse and thinking about that like we were in a matchmaking service. I mean, if you had to put that little video together where you're trying to convince Jesus to swipe right instead of swipe left on you, what would that sound like, right? Like, well, I went to church a couple of times this week and, and you know, I, I was singing in the choir. And I mean, what could you possibly say that would convince Jesus to pick you? Of course, that's not what Jesus meant. What he really meant was that before we were even born, he knew that we were his, all right? And so we think about that, we think about that in the verses of John 15, because if we were really trying to convince Jesus that there was something about us that he should pick, boy, think about some of those verses we heard early on in John 15, before the reading that we've got today, we were hearing that Jesus is the vine and we're the branches, but then it also says some scary things like, if your branches don't bear fruit, God's gonna prune those branches. So are we meant to be afraid about those things? Well, the answer is no. And actually, Jesus assures us that this is, a now, that this is not about us being afraid. What he says is that he's told us these things so that we may be filled with his joy and that our joy may be complete, right? The emphasis here is on making sure that we're understanding that we've got this opportunity and this awesome joy that we can be filled with in doing things for Jesus. And then he goes on to say something else that's really important here, right? He gives us this commandment that says, right, that we should love others as he has loved us. And we should do those great things for other people. And he says something super important. He says, I no longer call you servants, right? He's not just giving us a task that we're supposed to do. He says, I call you friends. And he tells us why he calls us friends, because he's told us what the master is up to, right? He says the difference between a servant and a friend is that the servant has no idea what the master is doing, but a friend knows what the plan is, right? So as we're Jesus's friend, he tells us that the plan is to love one another as I have loved you. And so what we're going to do as we think about that is fill our hearts with joy and do things, not because we're supposed to, not because we're servants, but because we have that opportunity to spread God's joy everywhere. So everyone, as you think about being a friend of Jesus this week, instead of a servant of Jesus this week, find ways to spread God's joy and love. Have a great week.